Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Not Real Engineering. In this video, we are going to do transient heat transfer analysis where heat source is moving. In many applications such as laser welding or friction stir welding, the heat source is not stationary, rather it is moving with respect to time. So such simulations where heat source is moving can be done in Abacus, but you have to use deflux subroutine. And in this video, we are going to see one such example of moving heat source analysis. This is the geometry of example we are going to solve. This is a three dimensional slab and the dimensions of this slab is given over here and the thickness is 0 0.02 meters. Sorry, this is in meters. So the three dimensional view is given over here. This red circle over here represents the heat source. In this video, I'm going to apply a surface heat source which has a diameter of 0 0.02 meters and we are going to define it by using flux boundary condition and this heat source is moving in this direction in this video i am going to apply a surface heat source but you can use the same logic to apply body heat source as well the initial temperature of whole body we are going to assume as 298 kelvin and apart from this surface all other surfaces we are going to apply a convection boundary condition with value of h equal to 20 and surrounding room temperature as 298 Kelvin. As far as material of slab is concerned, I'm going to assume it as aluminum. And as this is a transient heat analysis, we will need density, specific heat and thermal conductivity of aluminum, which is given over here. Total time of simulation I'm going to consider as 100 seconds. I'm going to consider the velocity such as the heat source will start from this point and it will reach at this point in 100 seconds. So the velocity will be 10 raised to minus three meters per second. And these equations we will need to define in the subroutine. Let's start with Abacus CAE and then I will explain how to define these equations in that subroutine. Let's start with Abacus CAE. First, let's create part. Three dimensional deformable solid. Now the important thing while creating the part is you should know where the origin is. So now I want to keep origin over here. So that's why I will define a part in a such a way that 0, 0 point should be over here. Rectangle 0 0.05 comma 0 and minus 0 0.05 comma minus 0 0.1 done thickness is 0 0.02 next let's go to property and create material aluminium as a material here we will need density density is 2710 then conductivity which is 205 and lastly specific heat which is 921 say ok create a section again okay, aluminium section solid homogeneous section and assign this section to our part Next, go to assembly, create one instance. And now you can see our origin should be over here. Again, it doesn't have to be here, but your equations will change according to your origin. Then create a step, heat transfer step, transient heat transfer step with 100 seconds as time period. In increments, I'm going to fix increments with increment size as 1. Next, go to load. First, let's define the initial temperature for whole body. So for that, you have to go over here in predefined field. Create. You have to change the step to initial. Go to other and temperature. Continue. Select the whole body. done 
magnitude is 298. Now let's apply surface heat flux and this is moving heat flux. Go to step 1 and select surface heat flux. Say continue. Select this surface and as of now here you just have to give magnitude as 1. This magnitude we will change in subroutine and in distribution you have to choose user defined and here you will see the note user subroutine deflux must be attached to the job. Say OK. Now don't worry as of now it shows the flux is applied to whole surface but using subroutine we will select specific area in this surface and that area we will change with respect to time. Next let me define convection boundary conditions for that go to interactions and create surface film condition. Select all other surfaces. Film coefficient is 20 and ambient temperature is again 298. Say OK. Go to mesh. Go to part and then first go to mesh and select element type. We have to change element type to heat transfer. Say OK. Then seed the part. Maybe make it little bit finer. That's too fine. And mesh it. Now let's take a look at subroutine. So this is the deflux subroutine for our example. This example. This subroutine is in dot for format this is for windows and you have to save this subroutine in your working directory now you will get time and coordinates from abacus into the subroutine and using that time and coordinates you will decide if heat source is there at that point or not so for example now we applied surface heat flux on this entire surface so for every point on this surface, Abacus will check with subroutine, is there a heat source at particular time at particular point? So we just have to tell the Abacus if heat source is there or not. And if yes, then what's the value of heat flux at that point at particular time? So how to do that? So first we have to come up with an equation for heat source. So this is a heat source. If you consider the center of heat source and give the coordinates of center by x, y and z then x, y and z will change with respect to time by this equation. So x start are initial coordinates, x, y and z start are initial coordinates. So those will be over here and then the heat source will move using these three equations. So x, y and z coordinates of center of heat source will change using these equations. So now in our example, the heat source is moving only in y direction. So this particular direction is y direction. So for x and z, vx and vz is 0. Therefore, coordinates will not change. So our x start is also 0. So it will remain 0. And our z start is 0 0.02, which is over here. So it will also remain 0 0.02. And in y direction, the coordinates will change and our velocity is as I said 10 raised to minus 3. So and the initial y start is 0. Once we have the location of center of heat source we can easily check if any particular point in this surface should be inside this circle or not. So for that we will just calculate distance of that point from the center of heat source. Now in surface we really don't have to care about z direction so I just remove z from here. In 3D there should be z as well and then if the distance is within this radius, radius will be 0 0.01 so if it is within this radius then there should be a heat source otherwise there should not be. It's that simple. So how to do that in Photron? First of all 
first of all we will get time and coordinates so i am just saving coordinates as x y and z these are coordinates of any point on that surface and then distance initially we will set it at zero using these two equations so this first equation and the second the, uh, this second equation we will calculate the will calculate the coordinates for the center of heat source so for x it will be zero and for y it will be given by this equation and over here you can see i have used time now time two is nothing but a total time if you make it time one it will be a step time but for our case we have only one step so total time and step time is same so it doesn't matter and then i am calculating a distance from this center location and then we will put a loop if distance is less than 0 0.01 which is radius of heat source then flux value should be 50,000 otherwise flux should be zero what this means is abacus will check for every point on this surface if the point is within this radius then there will be some flux otherwise flux will be zero if you want this subroutine you can shoot me an email and i can email it to you my email you can find in about section of this youtube channel remember mesh should be fine otherwise it will not it will not have enough integration point within that heat source and lastly create a job moving heat flux and while creating a job you have to go to general and in user subroutine file you have to select that deflux file deflux subroutine say ok and then submit it our job is completed let's go to results and these are the results so if you animate this in time you can see the heat source is moving so this is the flux values and you can see heat source is moving from this point to this point and that's it for this video if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching